Hello everybody, welcome to Feed the Beast Tutorials. Yes, it's Game Gabster. I do the Feed the Beast Bros tutorial. Or in, what the fuck am I saying? Oh my god. I just said Feed the Beast Bro tutorials. Uh, no, no. Beast Bros, yeah, I, I do the Beast Bros server thing. You know, the series. Uh, not a lot of people watch it, but whatever. It's fun. And I am currently building a nuclear reactor there although I haven't really showcased it or anything but a question that I had when building the nuclear reactor is how to automate it how do you automate a nuclear reactor and then I looked at all, all these super complicated designs and these people doing crazy crazy shit with like uh, turtles and cr wow it was like cr crazily amazing it was like r really hard work for them but then again it can be made so much simpler, so much simpler. You're, you're, you're seeing this. It looks complicated, right? It's not. First of all, let's begin here on the left side. This is basically just uh, power generation. I needed some MJ energy, so I put a solar panel here. I uh, created these. So this is actually not included. Just forget about this. You, but what you'll need is an ME system. ME systems run on. Um, what are they called? These things. Um, MJ Energy, of course. Duh, that's what I just said. And um, so, power. You you have to have a, I think 19 units of MJ Energy, 19 MJ per tick or something. And uh, you'll have a running system. And uh, ME systems are awesome. So right here, I think I have a uh, ME drive, an ME. Uh, terminal, uh, an ME controller, and two ME chests, and some ME cable. Uh, I, you don't really need all of this, but basically, um, you'll need an ME drive because this is where you do your storage. You make ME storage units, which can be up to 64k here, which is bytes, and then you you use a certain amount of um, uh, units. Uh, or space like the space it's using is like the bytes how many bytes it's using that's the amount of objects you're having and it says here two out of 63 types so you can have up to 63 types uh, of storage for each one of these um, uh, drives and you can stack them so you can have a, a drive and a drive and a drive and a drive and you basically get infinite storage in an infinite in a very small amount of space so this is really useful. Store like sorting systems, the all that complicated thing. No, just use ME systems, please. It's so much simpler. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you'll have to get the basics of this. Quite simple. Uh, you can connect ME cables and ME ac wireless access points and all these cool things, but that's not really what the video is about. You, but the ME cables basically I can connect to. Um, ME chests or whatever ME things I have and they'll have instant access. On ME chests you have to also have some storage. Uh, I'm, I'm just using the ME chest because uh, as you'll see it will be easier to keep uh, check on what's happening in the reactor. But um, basically let, let's start off with the reactor. If you don't know how to build a reactor it's really simple. I think you've seen this quite a lot already but uh, yeah you put a nuclear reactor in the center then you put six reactor chambers one on each side like so and oh ah, shit there we go beautiful um, so yeah that's how it works and then you can wire whatever put lots of sensors and different awesome things uh, but what you'll need the ME system has two very very special amazing things and those are ME import bus and ME export bus already you can see what I mean uh, oh the sun's going down let's just set that to noon but you can see what I mean these things can pull in and out um, whatever you want to put in and out of the system and I'm gonna showcase this just in this one to place one you shift then you right click on the face of the thing choose the other one shift right click and you can put it anywhere really uh, but the bottom of course is probably the best part and then you can just put some ME cable wherever you want it, it doesn't really matter 
um, what matters is you can click on the thing and here's enemy import bus then you can do always active active with without signal active with signal uh, per pulse always active um, so you can choose different things but uh, we're gonna do always active and then you can choose what to import and export so an import bus obviously uh, imports the, the things right this is a import bus no 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 to, uh, yeah, it imports into the ME system. I always get this wrong. So it's taking out, right? This means it's taking out import into the ME system. So we want to import into the ME system, like take away from the reactor near depleted uranium cells. But that, that's the thing it drops. And you see here that I click there and it didn't actually leave one of these in there. It just merely uh, created an image of it. So you never lose any of the objects when you do this. And export bus, you're gonna do whatever you can do. Uh, thorium cells, plutonium, uh, here quad, quad plutonium, whatever you know. You can do uranium, your general uranium here. Uh, but I'm going th for thorium because it's safer, and I don't really want to blow anything up. I haven't made a stable reactor design yet, and that's not for this video. Basically, you place it in there, and that works. Uh, now let's go to the working reactor here. Um, we have this design don't copy it please it's not for generating power this is just to demonstrate the fact that this system works there's only one condition though uh, once you I'm gonna have my thorium cells in here there are gonna be two thorium cells to make this actually work you have to make sure that your other things uh, your component heat exchangers and LHC condensers etc they don't run out they actually can cool the, the entire process off without being destroyed. Uh, so you can un run an infinite amount of cycles on the same material. That, that's one condition. Um, so, so that the only things that are changed will be the, uh, the cells. Now, let, should we run this? I think we should. We're gonna put our... Look, it's empty right here, right? there's the cable going there and the import or export bus it's exporting from the ME system into the reactor it's going in there I'm gonna place my thorium oh it disappeared and now it's stacked those two which means it sent two of them automatically into the reactor now to turn on the reactor obviously you have to have a red signal and you'll see that now this is running it's counting the seconds of the cycle uh, doing different crazy things etc and this is counting the heat, etc. Blah blah blah. Uh, cool things, cool beans, you know. Uh, the the design, please don't don't bother. It's not what a what we're aiming for. Now, once these run out, there's a 25% chance per cell. These are qua uh, dual cells, so there's a one one of these probably will become a uh, near depleted uranium cell near depleted uranium cells you know byproducts and uh, I'm just gonna showcase this we don't have 24,000 seconds so we take this out take that out obviously see you say you, you saw that or put that automatically inside that was really cool and I can actually place these right no I they have to be full working cells unless uh, you have a specific set number there but whatever um, what you're gonna do, okay, now we're gonna showcase this, so near the pleated uranium cell, put a few in there, oh, they were both sent out, and they were sent into this chest here, so now it's safe, and now that thing is empty, and then of course the new, um, thorium cell should come in, and of course you, near the pleated uranium cells, you can use that in a breeder reactor to make isotope cells and re like, make the more uranium more use of it and the sun is going down again oh my god I've been talking forever right haven't I but this is a really cool system you can uh, automate the whole uranium changing process so you never really need to ever do anything and the cool thing if you do set up an automatic uh, creation thing so you can with with the ME system so you get your uranium more turns into um, 
and your tin and you make that that into uranium cells and thorium and then you can choose and then it just goes in here and then you get an, a working reactor just everything's automatic and you can have hundreds of reactors whatever you want uh, working for you any time of the day hopefully this comes in very handy for you it, th it will and has come very handy for me so yeah and also you'll see here ME systems you can access it from anywhere so you have the ME chests I can go in here I have the same ones I take it out you go here oh they're empty so instantaneous access from everywhere amazing thing it's um, I love it it's just amazing um, but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching I hope to come out with more tutorials at some point otherwise remember to comment like and subscribe but you can go and watch the Beast Bro series that's a feed the beast uh, server series and um, otherwise I'll you can always watch strategy games as well but yeah anyway goodbye